so the lecture for you know, this week is on mise en scène, and um, that is, it's a term that comes from the stage. It means basically, uh, how are you gonna what how are you gonna arrange the elements uh, within the frame just so to make to get across the point that you're trying to get across as a director. Uh, so film directors apply the practice of setting the stage uh, from from a, uh, a stage originally to the screen, uh, also known as putting into the scene or within the frame. Cinematic variables include setting, costume, makeup, staging, space, uh, camera angle, lighting, and lenses. Um, we've talked about some already, but we'll talk about more too. Composing the frame, composing the tableau, a film director typically has the final say of what occurs within the frame. A cinematographer or a director of photography or DP takes the director's orders and then tries to visually create what the director has asked for. On some uh, sets, if a uh, director of photography is really well respected, um, pe people will actually listen to that person even more than the director at times. A word about, world about realism, um, we shouldn't judge mise-en-scene by how realistic the elements seem. To truly understand and study the elements of the film, you must s check the, skept the skepticism at the door. You don't want to hear the phrase, that's just not realistic. You must understand that realism varies by culture and era. Many films are not stylistically aiming for realism. realism. And most of the memorable uh, elements of a film are not realistic. Uh, as long as you can get the audience to believe in the world you've created, that's the goal. Setting the world. So, setting is fill the frame with objects from the world of the story, including buildings, props, and extra, extras, which are very minor actors. A setting can be a vital part of the storytelling process. They help determine uh, the drama, the tone, and even the emotions that run through a scene. These emotions could be how we feel about a character, whether we are scared or sad. Here is um, a clip from Beetlejuice. So for those of you who haven't seen this, um, this husband and wife get into an accident and they're now in sort of a, a, in the underworld uh, waiting room. And again, it's not realistic. Now ask yourself too, um, what are the benefits of shooting on a set versus shooting in a location? Because when we get to uh, Werner Herzog, he's very much wants to shoot on location. He thinks that sh the actors will respond to the location in a way that they won't respond to a set. Because uh, obviously in this clip I'm going to show you right now that it's not a very realistic looking set. Want a cigarette? Oh no, thank you. Try to cut down myself. This is what happens when you die. This is what happens when you die. That is what happens when he dies. And that is what happens when they die. It's all very personal. And I'll tell you something. If I knew then what I know now, I would have had my little accident. <laughs> Peterson's party, 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 Pe
I think you get the idea. Now, mise en scène as an editing style um, can often refer to a film that moves more slowly as opposed to montage, which we'll, which we'll talk about later. But um, here's an example of a film, Nosferatu, actually directed by Werner Herzog, that moves really, really slowly. Um, and for most of you, this you won't even be able to watch this. It, it, it's just too much in terms of the, the pacing is so slow. Personally, I, I enjoy it, um, but I'm going to just show you a, a segment, it's, and this is just the story of Dracula. So Jonathan Harker is going to um, uh, Dracula's castle for the first time, and but what I want you to pay attention to is um, how everything is sort of moving slowly, and you just kind of have to, you as the viewer, just sort of soak in the image. So then they proceed to Dracula's castle. Now this film is an hour and 46 minutes. Um, the whole film is like that. Uh, so why shoot it like that? Um, it almost has a hypnotic aspect to it, and I think that's what Her Herzog was uh, aiming for, was just trying to hypnotize you into going into this other world. Colors, very important. Um, so in general, they, they can heighten the drama, change the tone of the scene, or indicate character emotion. So this is a scene from Goodfellas where there's a person tied up in the trunk of the car, and then the three gangsters, the red light from the car is hitting them and sort of basking them in sort of a fiendish light because they're about to do bad things. A Blue Valentine, I have this clip on canvas. This is a longer clip, we'll just um, 
Well, we, this might be. We can watch all this. This isn't too long, but these two characters, basically Ryan Gosling and uh, Michelle Williams, they were in love when they were younger, and um, now it's years later, and they're sort of in their late twenties, early thirties, and no longer in love, but have a kid together. And they go to sort of the sex motel that has like this theme to it, like where they're on the moon. And because they're at this hotel, um, the light is supposed to be like they're on the moon itself. But what it's showing in the scene is how sad the characters are. so good at so many things, you could do anything you wanted to do, you're good at everything that you do, isn't there something else you want to do? Then what? To be your husband? To be Frankie's dad? What do you want me to do? What, 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 in your like dream scenario of me like doing what I'm good at, what would that be? I don't know, I just mean you're so good at so many things, you can do so many things, you have such capacity. For what? I don't, you can sing, you can draw, you can <laughs> dance. I didn't want to be somebody's husband, okay? And I didn't want to be somebody's dad. That was my goal in life. Some guys it is, it wasn't mine. But somehow, I've, it was what I wanted. I didn't know that. And it's all I want to do. I don't want to do anything else. That's what I want to do. I work so I can do that. I'd like to see you have a job where you don't have to start drinking at 8 o'clock in the morning to go to it. No, I have a job that I can drink at 8 o'clock in the morning. What a luxury, you know? I get up from work, I have a beer, I go to work, I paint somebody's house, they're excited about it, I come home, I get to be with you. What's, like, this is the dream. It doesn't ever disappoint you? Why? Why would it disappoint me? I can still do whatever I could do. So what? Why do you have to fucking make money off your potential? Look, I'm not even saying you have to make what money off it. You mean? Miss it. What does even potential mean? What does that mean, potential? Potential for what? To turn it into what? And we rarely sit down and have an adult conversation because every time we do, you take what I say and you turn it around into something that I didn't mean. You just twist it. Blabbing, blah, 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 blah. If you're not interested in what I have to say, then maybe I just shouldn't say anything. <laughs> A costume and makeup. The costume and makeup make the man and the women. Clothes define a character type, so if you're going to have uh, a gangster movie like Goodfellas, you probably have the characters wearing suits. Uh, they can also affect the viewer's emotions. They can show character development. Uh, and then I have um, this, uh, some montages from uh, uh, The Fly. Um, for those of you who've seen this film, and basically Jeff Goldblum is a scientist who invents um, a machine uh, that can transport matter. Uh, and he tests it on himself, but as he tests it, a fly flies into the machine with him and it fuses his DNA with the fly's DNA. And when he comes out, at first he's normal, but by the end of the film he's monstrous. And when I watched this film, you know, as a kid, I, I saw it as a, as a horror film and enjoyed it. But then I saw it maybe 10 years later, and uh, I realized, hey, this is all about the AIDS epidemic. So this came out right about the time that 
AIDS was really uh, becoming a problem and it was this mysterious disease that could affect young people and sort of break their bodies down. And that's kind of what uh, David Cronenberg, the director, that's a theme of all of his movies. So if you're going to do uh, Cronenberg for the final project, you could one of the films you could pick would be The Fly. And pretty much all of his films have that theme of your body breaking down.